Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday to all of you. I hope you're having a great week so far. Today we're going to continue on with our merch challenge. We have been creating our projects from the Park Lane Woodland Paper Pad. And today we're going to create this beautiful accordion style memory keeping system with loads of beautiful inserts for all your pictures and journaling. And I just wanted to mention um, that some of you noticed in our previous video that there was a fairly significant gap in the middle and I would usually be able to say that it was a technical issue or maybe the computer ate part of it um, but this time it, it was all my fault and I can tell you exactly what happened we had our first warm sunny day uh, nearly 70 degrees and after filming the tutorial I decided to drag my dining room chair out onto the porch and sit in the sun and get warm and I decided that I would take 10 more minutes and then after that another 10 uh, and then I 10 more minuted myself into having not enough time really to do a great job editing and I rushed it and of course that is when mistakes happen and I did consider to go back and fix that but I thought it might be better to treat that as a life lesson and share with you guys that um, you know if you're ever faced with a choice of sitting in the sun and getting warm after a long cold winter or having a good edit I hope that you pick sitting in the sun. That is the best thing you can do for yourself. Sometimes it's just to have a little reset. And even if that means something that you created isn't perfect, that is fine. And you don't need to feel guilty. It just happens. And sometimes when you just need 10 more minutes, you should take it and have your reset. And so, I did rush and I made a mistake and I owned it and that's okay. So I hope that you all can remember that when you need to take some time for yourself that you do it and you don't feel guilty about it. So that's all for my jibber jabber before we get into our tutorial. So I hope that you will join me in creating this fun and easy to make accordion style memory keeping system. So we're still working with our Park Lane Woodland Paper Pad from Joann's and I've got quite a bit left as you can see here. Many full size pages left inside and then I was able to use quite a few pieces from my little bag of scraps here and then I wound up adding more to it after I was done. So we still have quite a few of these off cuts to use as well. We have in the past created an accordion style memory keeping system with a nice little cover and that one was fairly involved. It was a four day series and we made the base and we moved on to all of the components that we added inside. For this project, it will have a similar appearance and functionality, but it's just going to be so much easier. I know this because I have had a terrible headache since three o'clock this morning and I was able to accomplish this with all of the measuring in that. So I know that this is going to be so much simpler and for me, this is going to be a base that I'll go back to often because it was so easy to create. So we're gonna start with a piece of 110 pound cardstock, and I'm just going to show you some scoring lines and cutting so that we will wind up with a double layer and you definitely want that for it to be more sturdy and thick. So my piece is 10 inches wide by 11 inches tall. I've come in and scored it on the 10 inch side at five inches, so just right in half, and then I flipped it and I scored it at four and a half, and then at six and a half. And this is going to give me a size of four and a half by five inches wide with a base of two inches. And now here comes the part where we cut. I put this right on my guillotine cutter, and I use that arm to create a nice, even, straight cut 
from the edge all the way to the center point. So then I wound up having three of these flaps here. And although I did want to put them inside so that it would have a cleaner edge, it wound up to be too much bulk for the folds to operate correctly. So I'm going to add a layer of double-sided adhesive tape all the way around on these flaps. Then I'll come back in with my Tombow and add a line of that wet adhesive also. Then I'll press each one over on to the other side. And that is where we're gonna get our double layer. Then when we fold it, you can see that we're going to have that nice, thick, sturdy base. And both of the sides here are gonna have that double layer as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we've got our base created and we can just set this aside as we're working along. The next step we want to get to is the accordion portion that is going to hold all of our inserts. So I'll just move that out of the way. What I have here is now 65 pound weight cardstock and I have cut a piece that is four inches high by 11 inches inches wide and I scored it at three and also eight. So when they are folded in, this is going to give me the pocket size of four inches and five inches wide. So this is going to fit inside the base but not come all the way up to the top so that I'll be able to pull those inserts out easily and they won't get tucked all the way down inside. I've already added a strip of my double-sided adhesive on both the ends where they will contact in the middle. You see how that will be pressed together. So we'll have two layers of that adhesive in the middle. And I'll just go ahead and add a little bit of Tombow here for added security. I'm not going too far over so that it won't squeeze out the other side. And then I'll just go ahead and press that into place. The other thing I did for this accordion divider portion is to give myself a line. You can't see it because it's underneath the adhesive, but I use my quilting ruler and I just divided that in half because we want to add our adhesive right down the middle and that is where we will connect them. And so I have created five additional pieces. So this was six all together for the inside and that will fit comfortably with all the inserts into that two inch wide base that we have for our cover. So what I wanna do now is remove this strip of double-sided tape, add another little bit of my Tombow, and connect it with that strip of adhesive right down the middle. So you wanna go ahead and press that down, get a good contact until the glue sets up. Then you can see how that accordion will open up and have space for all of our inserts. So I did add my line of adhesive on this side and I'm going to do this side as well. So we're gonna go back to the Tombow and I'm just going to make a little zigzag line right along that double-sided adhesive. You definitely want to reinforce this because all of these are moving parts now. So what I wanna do is hold this in place. Remember the 
uh, width of this is five and the width of this is five as well. So I'm just going to hold this right up to the score line and press that right into the front cover. I have to do these portions separately so that we can spend a little time pressing that into place. I'll remove my tape from the back side, give that little zigzag of Tombow. And then when I fold this open, I'll be able to come in and position it where I want it. And I'll just add pressure from the inside by holding it between my two hands. Okay, now you can see how well that accordion filler fits this space that we have for the inside of this nice cover. And I'm going to add my trim now. This is a beautiful diamond satin from Really Reasonable Ribbon. And I'm going to just first tie my bow so that I know I have a nice generous amount. I know there will be lots of inserts in here. So I'm gonna make sure that there is plenty of room at the top. So I'm just going to clip it here. Then when I have it attached, I'll be able to tie a nicer bow. So I'll just draw those two sides up and find my center point. And then lay this over on its side. A little bit of hot glue there to tack this into place. And I'll do the same for the front. I'm just going to go ahead and tie this now so that I can keep these ribbon tails out of the way while I continue to work along. So I've just got my pattern paper here and I used a beautiful dark chocolate cardstock for this project since I had the wood grain on the outside. So the cardstock size is four and seven eighths by four and three eighths. And the pattern paper is four and three quarter by four and a quarter. You're gonna need two of these, one for the front and one for the back. So I'm going to just go ahead and work on the front cover before I add it to the base. And so I've got that same combination as we put on the back. So here is our focal image and this is just another one of those journal cards from the collection. So this had a yellow background and I clipped it off at the gold foiling. So I do have a little bit of that color and then the foiling as an edge and that helped me to have more room on the base of this for our first pattern to show. I've also put this all up on spacers so that we can get a little bit of extra dimension. I'm going to line this up with the edge of my pattern paper so that we can take advantage of that cardstock border that we already have. So that is our beautiful base. And I'm going to bring in some flowers that I have created myself combined with some from Little Birdie Crafts. There are some die cut leaves here and netting. And then my second layer of leaves for this is a uh, die cut of very glittery paper. So it has a little bit of extra sparkle. And then there are also some loopy twine bows. And I have created this on a pretty sharp angle because I want to keep all of the fragile parts within the edges of the cover so that uh, it doesn't become damaged. Before I add that though, I do want to add a couple of little charms here. And I just thought these bunny charms would go so well with that image. So I'll just hold these in place where I want them to fall and then add them as I do with my hot glue. And this will be hidden underneath our flower arrangement. So the only thing you need to do here is just go ahead and clip off the excess string. And then I will add my flowers right on top. So now I can add this as one whole piece to the front cover. And I'll just position that giving myself 
all of my nice borders. You could easily switch this out to be a different color for your base, um, depending on what collection that you want to work with. I think this would make a great Christmas memory keeping system or any anything really, it would be nice. Um, you could even make this into a recipe file for a new bride. I think that would be a very thoughtful gift with all of your family's favorite recipes. Okay, so that's the cover. Now we have to add something to the middle. And I've created my inserts with a base of 110 pound cardstock. I just really want them to be very sturdy. So the first layer is a four and a half by four and a quarter. You don't want your insert to stretch the full width of that accordion portion because then it will be too snug when you put them in. I've got cardstock here as well. It is four and three eighths by four and eight. And then my pattern paper is four and a quarter by four. I created it 12, so I have two for each pocket. And that's really where I dipped into my uh, sleeve of offcuts because I wanted to be able to get uh, use out of all the wider strips that I had tucked into there. And so I'm just gonna mix and match them so that I have two that are different enough that will go together. And then I have two sets of each. So that beautiful mustard and the nature inspired one, there's some plaids, and then these more geometric patterns. So I have two sets of all of these and I'll just go ahead and add them right into the cover. And you can see now that they fit perfectly and I can access them easily because the top of the accordion is lower than the top of the tag. So let's just put all these in place. You can imagine now how heavy and thick and sturdy this is getting with all of these layers of paper. I did not cover the back of these because I wanted to make sure there was a place for journaling to be added or additional photos. So the back will be blank, but that just makes it more practical so that you can add whatever you like on the back when you go to finish this folio. If you do decide to finish the back, I think you probably would wanna stick with just one for each slot so that it doesn't get too wide. There will be additional room in these pockets for some mementos that are flat or keepsakes that you can tuck in to there. So don't worry, there will be lots of room for finishing this out. And then when you have all of your inserts tucked inside, you can come in and tie that up so everything is nice and secure. And you've got your beautiful, easy, and quick to make accordion memory keeping system. So that is all for our project today. Now on to our vote. We have two projects that are left for March if we're staying within our challenge, but we should have had three had I not taken my reset day. So it's up to you guys. You can vote in the comments below. Do we make it up or do we move on? So we can either do two more and go on to a new collection or we can do three and that will fulfill our original goal to make all the projects for March out of that one collection. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, let me know that too and give me a big thumbs up for this tutorial. If you're not already, I would love for you to join my crafty little family. Just hit that subscribe button and also the bell so you'll be notified every time we add new content. You can find links for all our socials in the description below. And as always, I'm wishing you a happy and productive day, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.